Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. Yes, I am. Y'all ignore this, okay? I, I'm, my eyes, I got baggy under my eyes, so y'all, you know. Anyways, so when I rang the bell and got into your energy, I instantly heard diplomatic, uh, what was it? Diplomatic, strong, and because uh, I was like, let's tap into this Libra energy. And I rang the bell and I heard diplomatic, strong, persevering, like all of these positive, beautiful traits that you have as a Libra. Okay, so yeah, that was cute. I like that. All right, so let's get into the messages, guys. We're going to start off. I just, I just want to make this reading a little, per, you know, really about you, Libra. So let's just get messages from spirit and and, 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 and your ancestors and things. And we're going to see what's going on, Libra, for today. Today is Sunday, October 15th. Happy birthday to all of my October 15th Libras. Okay. <clears throat> hope you guys, if you celebrated over the weekend, I hope you had a good one. If you're continuing celebration i hope you are having a good libra season all right guys so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear libra Happy birthday to you and many more. All right, guys, let's get into the messages. Happy birthday, guys. <sighs> Y'all know how I typically, typically do readings on a Sunday, but, you know, I just felt like it today. I got up and I was like, head to the table. Let's get it. You're going to get three of these healing energy oracles. Ooh, balance. Yes, Libra. Showing up in your full, powerful energy. Listen, I've been getting a lot of big Libra energy lately in these readings, guys. I do not know it's Libra season, but come on, man. Come through. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it looks like things are balancing out for you, Libra. I can't help but notice this unconditional love at the bottom of the deck, okay? And it seems like some of you are manifesting unconditional love, and it looks like you're about to get it because you've been doing a lot of healing and inner work and following the guidance and teachings of spirit and your ancestors and your spirit guides and your spirit team, okay? You're about to be granted some type of peace and serenity. Oh, but it's all in divine timing with the one step at a time here because you are learning to love yourself. You are about to have some type of success and victory, okay? Yeah, just leave it all in God's hands and everything happens in divine timing. Mm -hmm. Um, That's crazy when I said your peace and serenity because lately they've been get, taking me to church when I um before I do these readings. When I sit down and clear the energy and get ready to do the readings, they've been taking me to church lately. And so the song this morning was, if you want peace, God's got it. And it it's really, it's like whatever you want. God's got it. He's got everything you need. And then it goes to, if you want peace, God's got it. If you want joy, you know, y'all get it. And yeah, so I just thought that was interesting. But I'm like, I'm here for it. Okay, shoot. Yes, I did grow up in the church. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm familiar, huh? <sighs> All right. Something again about pay attention to detail. Attention is very important, okay? The reading that I did yesterday, the readings that I've done over the past couple of weeks, and if you guys are resonating with them, seem significant for someone. It's like kind of following a story as well, okay? But anyways, all right, guys, so things are about to balance out for you um with this balance coming out here it's giving me full power all power libra like you are in your full power as you have been showing up in the readings all week as the empress and the justice not just one but both of your major arcanas shoot big libra energy all right so this says i find a balance between each sphere of my life i am the master of my daily life i make time to nourish the spiritual and physical 
I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs and by ugh, by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. So this is about balancing things out, okay? Having a healthy balance between everything that you do, whether it's your spiritual body, your spiritual nourishment, or your physical body, okay? So it's like, all right, if you went out last night and you took six shots, it's like, all right, today I need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I need about six bottles of water or, you know, more than 16, I don't know balance right for every shot you take you drink bottle of water balance okay <laughs> and this is an example um if you know that you know if you're on a diet and you you know you can't wait you've been doing good all week all week all week and you's like but my cheat day is on saturday and i'm gonna have that piece of chocolate cake okay that's fine balance right you done had a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables and call it you know and fake pasta tofu burgers and all this plant-based stuff for a whole week you mean to tell me on saturday i can't have a piece of chocolate cake balance right <laughs> but also doing the same thing when it comes to your spiritual body and your soul right so it's like i love my peace i love my peace right but you're constantly dealing with people who are interfering in that piece who are you know just energetically draining and then it's like no oh, you got to balance that out you're going to get rid of these people right so balance you know y'all get it okay all right you have i am light here this is giving me um you know god the universe uh spirit the, whatever higher power it is that you guys um you know deal with okay um, it's giving me that energy, right? The higher power energy. I, um, it says, I am light. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. And I turn darkness into light. I open my heart and others. And to God, I am, oh my gosh. Scratch all of that I just said. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> it says, I have, I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in better, in a better future. I turn darkness into light. I open my heart to others and to God and am spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with all my being. I promise I can read y'all. Look, oh my gosh, look, it kind of matches my little gold thing. That's cute. All right, I can read y'all. I don't know what that was, but. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we I was talking about, that balance. It's talking about being spiritually strong, you know, having an open heart, which is, um, you know, you, the next card you have showing up here is the voice of the heart, okay? So, it's like you are the light, okay? You balance things out for for yourself, for other people. You're the light. You're, you're just the light. You're the light in other people's lives. You bring light to other people and you balance energies out um, in, in other people and other situations here. Like... Some of you don't even know the impact that you have on other people, okay? And some people can't even understand the impact that you have on them. But, I mean, hey, tis being a Libra, right? <laughs> All right. So, says the voice of the heart. I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruits of these words guide me. I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. Yeah. So you're definitely on the right path with the I am light being out here. You're definitely on your right path here. Okay. It says my intuition leads me on the path of light. You are the light. You're, you're, yeah, I'm getting, you're just what somebody needs, Libra. Because they're, they're taking me back to the song that I was telling you about at the beginning when it says he's got everything you need. You have every, first of all, you have everything you need. Spirit has gifted you in, with everything you need, your intuition, your gifts, your talents, your blessings, your life path and things like that. Okay. And, but you have everything that somebody else needs or that other people need people need that light that's within you okay that's why you got so many energy vampires and stuff fake people around you and stuff like that some people know what they be doing okay but this is not talking about like from an enemy standpoint or anything like that with especially with this unconditional love on the bottom of the deck you have 
ever like somebody literally looks at you like you have everything they need if this is a love situation for some of you i mean for the for others and you know for everybody really you have that whoever's connecting with this reading you have that light that other people just need your friends your family you know that's why they come to you for advice that's why they always want to you know know what you're doing you know where'd you oh where'd you get your outfit girl like that's real cute you know like but i but again i'm not i'm not feeling from a malicious standpoint it's more like people are just people just admire you like your your spontaneity what what did i say at the beginning your your perseverance you're strong you're diplomatic you're you know your your just your whole essence and your whole being is just like you know what I'm saying? Even to the people who don't want to admit it, even to, even to the people who don't like you, they still have to acknowledge inward because they would never acknowledge it out loud that, damn, leave her to shit. And I'm not talking to, I'm talking to Libra placements and whoever is connecting with this reading, wherever you have Libra energy in your chart. Okay. You shit. All right. So the bottom of the deck says unconditional love. Yeah, and I'm hearing that song. Shorty rock to the beat for your boy. Shorty. And then he says, is it you the shit? Is that the the the, the, uh, the chorus? Shorty rock to the beat for the young killer. Shorty proud hip. Shorty uh-uh. Should have stayed there all night with you. Yeah. Yeah, Libra, you the shit. Somebody looking at you like Libra's the shit. Your people who like you and people who don't like you looking at you like, dang, Libra the shit. Libra just might be that that one. I mean, we're like, hello, especially the black sheep of black sheeps of the family. You're like, hello, I have been duh. <laughs> but it's crazy because a lot of times as the black sheep of the family or the outcast or the weird one or the middle child or whatever, you, you, you're not, you don't often feel seen, right? So you may go through life just hiding and just, you know, hiding in the shadows because you, that's where you feel comfortable. But I'm talking to somebody who is going to step out of the shadows. What did that card say about darkness? I turned darkness into light. Yeah, I say. Write that in the comments below if you're resonating with this reading. I turn darkness into light, period. I am the light, period. I am light, okay? Put it in the comments, guys. Like the, like the video if you're, if you're subscribing to that because I will. Amen. Feel like we're going to church today. That's probably why I don't do readings on Sunday because everybody be like, oh, this is not church, ma'am. Well, I beg to differ. Okay, this is the gospel according to Kia. <laughs> And the Church of Libra in spirit, okay? All right, y'all. So you have unconditional love at the bottom of the deck. It says, my heart is free from resentment toward others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. Libra, you just love people, man. Like you, your your love is unconditional. Now, when you don't mess with somebody, you don't f with them. You don't f with them. And nine times out of ten, it's because of something that they did to you, and you gave them too many chances. Okay, <laughs> but the people that that you love, when you love somebody, you love them unconditionally. Okay, you will go to the ends of the earth for this person. Like when you say you love somebody, you don't take that lightly. You love people no matter what. Okay, no matter what. Draw, and, and sometimes it's to a fault, but but when you're walking in the light, it's like, okay, I can love you from a distance if you need to. You're like, I love you and everything like that, but I don't, that doesn't mean I have to be around you, tolerate your negativity, your, you know, all of that. And you can still love that person unconditionally from a distance. Like, that's the most, that's the best love that you can show them, right? It's just like staying at a distance because I don't want to create any tension between us because every, you know what I'm saying? Um, for some of you, that feels more like family, um, friends, things like that here. Okay. Uh, maybe even, yeah, feel, that feels more like family, family and friends. Okay. What? 
All right, sorry guys, I had to pause and I had to switch camera apps. So yeah, this video may, I mean, this side of the video may look different because I have to put them together. But anywho, um, yeah, like I was saying, you love unconditionally. When you love someone, you you love them, okay? And you, you know, you love them till you can't love them anymore. So it's time for you to distance yourself from them. But it's like, you can, you can not deal you can decide to not deal with the person anymore libra and i'm not talking about people who just like wronged you did you wrong people that don't even deserve your your time or your attention or your thoughts or your energy i'm talking about like i said family maybe some friends that you you know fell off with and things like that along the way but it's like you don't dislike those people or you don't hate them okay it's like i just know that i need to love you from over there okay stay just Stay over there. It's okay. I, I see you. I, I see you. Just don't come no closer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Let's get some. Ooh. <sighs> Why do I feel like this is about to get deep? Like my voice just did for whatever reason. <laughs> All right. Messages from spirit. Messages from spirit to my Libra collective, my Libra loves, my Libra family, my soul tribe. Spirit, what is it? Regret. You can't change the past. And I and you're figuring that out now. You can't change the past. You can't change people. Okay? People can only change themselves. And anything that happened in the past with a with a certain person or a certain energy situation, whatever, it's like you're healing from that. I feel like you're understanding. Oops child would change on the bottom of the deck i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement yeah you're like you don't want to be stuck in the past you don't want to be stuck in the rut you don't want to be holding a grudge against people and things like that because for what what is, where is that going to get you nowhere right it's like that's not yeah forgiveness see you're letting things go some of you are wow i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love yeah some of you are not holding on to any grudges. If you were, you're getting over that. You're healing from that because you're realizing, child, look, happiness. Mm -hmm. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Again, another message of being on the right path. Some of y'all are going through a major change and transfer, ugh, a major transformative healing stage right now. You could be coming out of the dark night of the soul here, or you're getting ready to. It's almost over. You're almost coming out of that energy or it's been a long road child purpose because now you know what you're here to do. Now you found your life purpose. I think I said something about that earlier. Look how you've got the, um, the orange and the red. Okay. Sacral chakra, um, solar plexus chakra, very, very solar plexus. Okay. Um, look how you got that coming out together. And then you got the purple coming out here together too with this balance and purpose your purpose helps you find your balance or you found your your purpose when you found your purpose or as you're finding your purpose it's bringing more balance it's it's, it's just things are just balancing out for you like you're not even doing nothing you're but walking your path and and doing what you're what you're supposed to do what you feel guided to do and and things are just balancing out it's just like it's like um i don't know I can't, I can't describe what they're giving me. It's like kinks in a chain, right? And as you straighten that, that those kinks out, the, the chain gets straighter and straighter and straighter. And it's like, yeah, that one kink was you finding your purpose and walking your path and healing, right? And then it's like everything else just starts to fall into place and straighten out, right? Is that a good analogy? Can y'all understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right, you have discipline and fear. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, so somebody, that fear. Um, before you find your purpose, while you're in the dark night of the soul, going through the healing journey, it's all about releasing fear and ego, right? The main thing. All about releasing fear and ego. And somebody was now is now disciplined enough to know that you know fear and ego is just it's not it basically it feels like an awakening type of thing here okay 
somebody is choosing. It's like you're, you're choosing to live out of fear and um, positive energy instead of out of your ego and out of, I meant, sorry, you're choosing to live out of love instead of fear, right? And that's what's bringing all of this to change and happiness and things and, and balancing out your life is because you're no longer operating out of fear and ego. You're operating out of love and spirit and high vibrations and guidance and things like that, okay? So that's beautiful. All right, Spirit, can we get one card to read? Which one do you want me to read to them? Oh, we got two. Oh, I told y'all, look, perseverance. And I thought, I was like, why didn't a blue card come out? An aqua or whatever. And look, there it is. Uh-huh. And guess what this is? Peace. What were we talking about in the beginning? Perseverance is one of the words that I heard at the beginning of the read. And then we were talking about your peace and serenity. And there you go. Whatever it is that you're doing, you are definitely on the path to achieve peace and happiness. I'm telling you, you're on the right flipping path. It says, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. A lot of a lot of crown chakra energy here. All right. Um, and a lot of roots and uh solar plexus energy. Okay. And the blue is giving throat chakra. It's like balance. Balance. You got all of it here. The green is here. You got all of it. All right. It says, um, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah, you have released that fear. You're no longer holding on to that fear. It says, I, it says, I test my resolve to live in the energy of love. Because if you hold on to fear, you can't operate out of love. And then for that to come out right after that. Talking about I'm a being of love, I release all negative energy. Yeah, you're releasing that fear, that self-doubt, that self-loathing, that I can't mentality. And you're, boy, Libra, you're doing the damn thing. Okay. Can I get one? Look, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah. Trusting in spirit and following your intuition is changing things for you or will. The spirit wants you to know that you are definitely on the right path here. Oh, my gosh. They keep giving me so many. Trust, forgiveness, and growth. Yep. Y'all, y'all on it. Y'all on it. <laughs> Loneliness, health, and adversity. Yeah, you know that you are never alone. Okay, this again is talking about taking care of your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So really taking care of your, your health, your earthly body, your vessel. Okay, um, that because your vessel is what houses your soul. So you need to just make sure that you're taking care of that. Some of you are eating healthy. You need to instill more greens into your diet here. Okay, yeah, I'm hearing slowly, but surely you'll start to incorporate it more. All right, it says, I accept that the challenges the challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, overcoming challenges has been the best way to learn. Happiness. Overcoming challenges has been the best way to learn. Things are about to change for you, Libra. You're about to be happy. Leave me alone. You want to argue? I can't argue with you. You mad. I can't argue with you. I'm happy. Leave me alone. <laughs> Is that type of energy for you, Libra? Yeah. And look, you're attracting positive relationships here, whether it's love or anything else. Um, friendship, uh, whatever. Um, some of you business partners, it said, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Yeah. After releasing those negative toxic energies, like I was telling you about, you're attracting the people that are that are good for you and supposed to be in your life. Some of you are service workers. You do some type of service or you are a service to your community. You're a service to spirit, okay? Um, if you're a light worker, a star seed, an indigo child, whatever you want to call it. Some of you are tarot readers. Some of you are spiritually gifted. Some of you are mediums. Um, somebody can hypnotize people because I heard mesmerizer. <laughs> so somebody may know how to, you know, hypnotize people, okay? I don't know. But yeah, it, it feels good for you to, to know that you're helping others. Like when, when I get confirmation that these, because sometimes I feel like silly sometimes with some of these readings, like what am I even talking about? And then when you guys give me the confirmation or when you thank me or when you email me, I'm like, oh, okay, that, wow, that really helped somebody out. Even though I may have felt like, what is this? 
that was what, you know, somebody needed at that time. And, you know, I'm very grateful that I'm able and blessed to do that for you guys. Okay. Yeah, it feels good to me when I make other people feel good or when I feel like I have been of some type of help to some people. All right, guys. Um, let's get... Um, I'm trying to see what deck I want to use, guys. Uh, we'll do this for final messages. Let's see what the Awakened Soul has to say. I still didn't get the one card to read there. Oh, well. I guess we didn't need it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're releasing something, Libra. You're releasing, you're releasing that negative thought patterns, that fear, anxiety. And it's crazy how y'all, if y'all, anybody suffers from like depression, panic attacks and things like that, again, not a doctor, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm not licensed to, to give any medical advice or whatever. I'm just telling you guys my experience, okay? So, I used to have like panic attacks like a lot, right? depression all of that and i never um i wasn't like just depressed to the point where i needed to be medicated so i, I never took medic well I take that back i i was um prescribed medication about three different ones but i never took it it always made me feel weird in some type of way and i was just like eh, i don't even think i needed that bad right so but i used to have panic attacks and then I went through my spiritual awakening about two, two and a half, three years ago now. And probably a little longer than that, three or four. I mean, I think it's been a process through like the last 10, 15 years. But me really knowing what was going on was about three, four years ago, right? So anyway, I just noticed that, you know, ever since I've gone through my awakening and things like that and ever since i've been you know i feel like i found my purpose i haven't had any panic attacks i haven't had any panic attacks um I, well i'm not saying any i think i had a, one but it was something very personal going on so it warranted a, a panic attack but um but yeah and like definitely not like i was having them especially the job that I was working in, the things that I was going through, I was having a, probably about four or five a week. Um, and definitely every day that I went, that I went into work, I had them every day, every day. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that, that's somebody needed to hear that because after, you know, since going through my, my elevation, my revolution, ascension, whatever you want to call it, I haven't had those those issues anymore because I I feel like I know how to better deal with with certain things now and I'm like it's not even that deep you know what I'm saying for me because now I know how to handle certain situations differently and you know and I pray and I meditate and things like that more but it it's made a difference in my life like for real y'all okay Somebody, maybe, I feel like you could feel judged by somebody here. Maybe this is you. This looks like judging yourself, though. Because you can be your own worst critic. And I feel like you're judging yourself kind of harshly, if I may say so, Libra. So, stop doing that. Some of you are judging, like, every little role you have. Your cellulite, your stretch marks, your... You whatever, whatever you're you're looking at yourself and you're not liking what you're seeing and you're looking at other people and comparing, you know, and and I don't and I know some of y'all gonna be in the comments like uh Libras don't do that, but come on now, y'all. We are very confident people, but again, y'all gotta go through something to get to where you are. Like if you just always been this super confident person, that's great. But everybody hasn't always been like that, you know what I'm saying? So if that's not you, then that message, that part is not for you. But if it is, then you don't even got to say nothing. Just shoot. Know that there ain't no need for you to do all that. You you judge yourself too harshly, okay? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. And I'm also hearing uh, somebody's name could be Christina. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially with this white hair coming out here. That looks like her hair. 
I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Words can't bring me down. No, no. I am beautiful in every single way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you have gone through some changes here. If you were unhappy with something that, you know, your appearance or something like that, maybe you didn't like your hair, you changed your hair color, maybe you um, didn't like your body, so you started to exercise or, or either eat more, whichever way um, you wanted it to go. Like, I feel like some of you have gone through some type of major change and transformation. You kind of, and it kind of looks like, uh, you a whole new person or something like that um and i feel like you are a whole new person on the inside as well as the outside because i feel like your outsides are reflecting your inside and when i say your insides i'm talking about your spiritual body your physical body is reflecting your spiritual body so if your spirit and your soul is beautiful and healed and glowing then that's gonna be portrayed on the outside which is what we're talking about with i am the light here okay so, yeah, beautiful energy, Libra. Yes. And if you haven't quite gotten there yet, know that you're on the right path and you are about to get there. Okay. I was just talking about meditating. Yeah, meditating, meditating in the, um, in the, ooh, I can say in the ethers. Some of you meditate in the ethers, like in your dreams and things like that, or you get like very vivid dreams or dream downloads and things like that. Um, Yo, I used to, I'm like so creative. I used to get like songs in my dreams and and um and I say used to, I still do, but I never can like remember to write them down and they're like gone as soon as I wake up. I can remember a lot of my dreams, but little little details like that, I haven't quite gotten that. Um but sometimes but I, I I'm talking about they be some bangers too. <laughs> like I know if I can remember the melody of this song. Ah, man, I'd be on to something. But anyways, I, maybe it's just not that time for me right now. And that's cool. But some of you need to meditate in the, uh, in the, God, I keep saying in the ethers, in the nature, out in nature, connect with Mother Earth here. Um, I'm hearing elementals. Some of you may, um, be like, you know, white witches or, or something like that. I'm, but, or you can just be like an herbalist or you work with the, the the elements okay like rainwater or um something like that because i'm hearing um pocahontas can you paint with all the colors of the wind yeah these two pictures are giving me that because it looks like there's wind going on around her and then the colors can you paint with all the colors of the wind elementals it's like using using your resources to because I, I, when I say I am very um, um, resourceful, okay, I can I'm like MacGyver child. I can take something a little bit and turn it into a lot of bit. I'm trying to tell you now. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. So, yeah, some of you have that, like, energy. It's like you can take a little and turn it into a lot. That's like when you grew up in the kitchen with your grandmama or your mama and y'all didn't really have a lot. And you like, what we going to eat? Ain't no food in here. And then, voila, there's a whole meal in front of you. It's like, hey. Okay? Like, that type of energy. Like, you have the ability to, like, change something into nothing, Libra. Yeah. Grounding, definitely something about nature and getting outside, grounding your energy. Yep, vision. Some of you have um very vivid visions, very vivid dreams. I did see dreams when I first split the deck and took it out the pack. So yeah, some of you get um downloads in your dreams. Some of you get visions in your third eye, okay? Like in your waking life, not when you're dreaming. Some of you can literally, you know, your third eye is activating um and opening here. I remember when this started happening to, happening to me at first, and boy, I tell you, woo, that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> woo, anybody that's going going through this though, because I know this isn't for everybody. So if you are going through something like this, leave a comment below, or just put like put like a a light, like a candle or something like that, um, in the in the comments below. Because I feel like this is something that we could dive deeper into, but I know that it's not for everybody. So I feel like I could do that separately. All right. For you guys. 
All right, so you have challenge here. I heard accept it. Is it accepted or accept it? Accepted. Okay, challenge accepted. Yeah, some of you are musicians. Remember I was just talking about getting download, getting music in my dreams and songs and things? Some of you are musician, musicians. Um, some of you write songs. You're very artistic. You're poetic. You write poems and things like that. Um, somebody could live in the city. Somebody could live in New York. I'm here in Travis County. Where's that at? I don't know what Travis County is, but I'm hearing that. Some of you feel like music. Somebody feels like music saved them. Somebody feels like music saved them or saves them. Yeah, it helped you to get out of your, your dark night. Yeah, definitely put candles in the comments if you guys are resonating with this. Somebody music or just being alone or isolating yourself or like I'm hearing music is your therapy. Okay. And it like it it helps you out of those dark places. Okay. Whether it's whether you are a musician with that writes music, performs music, or whether you just, you know, turn on some Sade in the living room while you clean it up. Like it like brings you out of that dark place here. Yeah, guidance. Some of you are tarot readers. Um, or, or spiritualist in some type of way, or you have some type of spiritual gifts here. Or you could be, you know, this is you watching me. I feel like some of you read cards, though. Some of you may not be like readers, readers with a platform, but um, or read for other people, but I feel like somebody definitely pulls cards for themselves here. I'm currently watching Witches of East End. Don't know why they wanted me to tell you that. And I just, I, 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 and I only said it because of a scene that I recently watched where they were using the tarot cards. But yeah, it's good. I like that show, Witches of East End on uh, Hulu. Check it out. Yep. And then there's the cat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else may be watching that. Uh, may watch that show too. I like that show here. Something about cleansing. Making sure that your space feels peaceful and serene and, and free and clean and, and, you know, at all times here. Some of you um, have crystals around your home here. Make sure you, making sure that you keep them charged. Um, some of you like candles. Somebody could even make candles or sell crystals or something like that here. Yeah, and have fun with your family. Like, having fun some of you may need to get back out there and have more fun or some of you are taking the initiative to have more fun all right and and spending more time with your family can i get one energy to wrap this up to read for the collective please this is a beautiful reading guys Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> sovereignty that's the one we end up with bet <laughs> So the sovereignty card says, um, let's see. The sovereignty card has arised as a, so ha Ooh, oh my gosh, come on y'all, get it together girl, get it together. <laughs> the sovereignty card has arrived as a sign from the divine within you to own your power. And if you have been giving it away, take it back. You may have given your power away by allowing other people to make decisions for you, seeking approval over being happy and not having clear boundaries. These goddesses are a reminder that no one but you has the right to say anything about your life and the choices that you do and don't make. They are yours and no one else's. Give yourself permission to be yourself. You are being reminded that through spiritual work and self-love, you can claim your power every day for yourself. Regardless of your gender, identity, race, or spiritual path, you are divine. Even if you are part of an organized religion or spiritual group, you still have the right to choose what is right for you. Check with your inner compass whether you are aligned to love. Mm. Sovereignty is taking responsibility for your actions and life as you are the one who has the power. Ain't that everything that we've been talking about, y'all? 
And then the, um, the affirmation says, I claim my sacred power now. Go ahead and put that in the comments, guys, and like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I claim my sacred power now, period. Ashe. All right, I'm going to get a message from the ancestors for you guys, and I'm going to wrap this up. That was a beautiful ending. I told you I was talking to people who were tapped in, who were powerful, who were waking up, who were going through some type of ascension. And maybe some of you know what's going on. Maybe some of you don't. Maybe some of you are scared. But I feel like you're releasing that. I can never get... I'm going to stop putting these in the box. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Because I can never... Why are they so hard to get out? There we go. Okay. Jeez, please. Somebody's stubborn. Go on and step into the light, Carolyn. Get out the darkness. you being so stubborn. Yeah, because you are a boundless being. Your power is endless. Your intuition is endless. Your child, look, see, shadow. Told you somebody coming out of that dark. What I just say? Come on out of the dark and step into the light, Carolyn. <laughs> I just say. Oh my gosh. All right, spirit. Spirit funny. Y'all funny. Y'all funny. <laughs> All right. Step into the light, Carolyn. It's my name, Tina, Carol, Ann, Bethany, Erica, Denise, Leslie, Torrance, Shamaya, Anita, Denise, Monica. I feel like Petey Pablo naming all these names <laughs> for like Drake. <laughs> All right, guys. So, final message to wrap this. What are the mess? What's the message from the ancestors? What's the message from the ancestors for Libra? Ooh, wow! Spirit guide. Yeah, some of you. Some of you, your spirit guide is your grandfather. If your grandfather's passed over, I'm hearing Charles, Carlton, Bob, Philip, Bill, Jimmy. Mario, Marcus, Melvin, Donnie, Anthony. Mm, Loretto? Loretto? Peter? John, did I say John? Cortland? Courtney, Cortland, Bobby, Anita, Leslie. Yeah, okay. Some of y'all, this is y'all, this could be your grandfather's names, or this could be you, you, your name. Yeah, they're giving me the same ones over again. Clarence, did I say Clarence? Okay. Yeah, this person's looking down on you, your grandfather. Okay, spirit guides. Some of you hummingbirds could be your spirit animal. If you see hummingbirds, then that's a guide. That is um, your spirit guides and team letting you know that we see you. We're here with you. You're not alone, okay? Um, yeah, you can see any kind of hummingbird symbolism. Some of you may even have a hummingbird tattoo or like a flower tattoo or a lily tattoo or something like that. The color green, okay? Um, lots of green, lots of heart chakra activation, lots of blue with throat chakra, okay? Talk to your guides. They want you to talk to them. They like it when you talk to them. Talk to your guides. And pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. Pay attention to the messages that they're trying to send you. Your dreams. Those random thoughts that you have while you're washing dishes. The random thing or movie or vision that pops into your mind while you're cleaning your house pay attention to those things the orbs that you're seeing the little flashes of light out of the corner of your eyes yeah your guides are trying to get your attention pay attention pay attention a lot of things about attention this week pay attention hmm okay Whew. 
Wow, I turned to the grandfather one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna read the grandfather one since it showed up on the bottom of the deck. Because for some of you, this is your grandfather coming through or a strong masculine figure coming through that has passed. Okay. It said, wow. Wow. The very first thing that it says is pay close attention. Jeez Louise. Thank you, Spirit. I, ooh, I'm forever grateful and appreciative <laughs> of these gifts. Thank you. All right. It says, pay close attention to all the various ways you distract yourself from being immersed in your immediate experience. The mind is very effective at scripting stories that take you away from full presence and dwell on the past. Imagine the future or consistently find something else to pay attention to other than which is before you. Practicing presence is fueled by your association with your higher self, particular, particularly your connection to grandfather. When you become aware of being stuck in the pattern of distractibility for whatever reason, pause, take a few slow, deep breaths, call on grandfather and reset your attention and awareness. Practicing presence helps you meet and respond to whatever life presents you. Even the most challenging of circumstances that are all a part of being human and leads to discovering the deepest acceptance possible, that of welcoming whatever you are experiencing into the present moment. So this is very much that grandfather card is very much about being in the present, being in the now. OK, if you find yourself drifting too far back in the past, knowing how to pull yourself back in, if you find yourself wandering too far into the future, knowing how to pull yourself back in and focus on the here and now. OK. All right, so let's find the um, spirit, the shaman card. Here and now, I promise to love faithfully. Look, when I start singing that song, I have flipped to the singer page. <laughs> All right, so we're reading the shaman spirit guides. It says, due to constrictions that have embedded themselves in your consciousness because of earlier indoctrinations, religious or otherwise, you have now come to be skeptical and distrustful of anything to do with receiving guidance and messages from spirit guides. Any number of fears can be activated. Messages that come to you get ignored or rebuked as just your imagination. And others may disapprove of a philosophy and practice that's different from the status quo. Yet, it's time. Time to learn to trust that the world is alive and enchanted. That imagination is simply the bridge to perceiving a world beyond the ordinary. And that spirit truly can reveal guidance directly with no need for an intermediary. Y'all don't need me. Some of y'all don't even need me. Need tarot. You got it within yourself and you're ignoring it and ignoring the signs or you're doubting it. Okay. Your powers of discernment are growing in leaps and bounds such that you can more readily tell the difference between the voice of the ego and the voice of spirit. Stay the course and get support if needed for opening up to this way of life that offers a renewed relationship with Mother Earth that showed up here and all her children. Remember who you really are and that you are profoundly and intimately related to all beings, both visible and non-visible. Remember all of that stuff I was just telling y'all about paying attention to the, all the dang on signs. I'm telling you that falling lamp, that light flickering on and off, like... Pay attention to those things. Figure out what they mean. Do it. Don't be scared. Get out of that fear. Step into the light, Carolyn. Come out of the darkness. Okay? And the darkness I'm talking about is fear and ego. Some of you thinking that there's no way that this could even be happening to me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's happening. You're not crazy. It makes sense. You just have to accept it. Your guys, they're waiting for you. They're going to they're gonna wait for you. But they're going to keep giving you signs until you get it. I'll wait for you. Oh, no. I'm hearing that song by Thames. I will wait for you. Yeah. Or is it won't wait for you? I don't know. I, I think it's will, though. <laughs> but I'm saying you guys will wait for you, okay? All right. So I'm going to leave the message here, guys. I hope this helped. I'm really thinking about um, making sure you guys leave those candles in the comments if you 
you know, resonate with this, if you're going through this, okay, or if you are familiar with, you know, um, spiritual journey, awakening, the ascension process and things like that. Um, because I'm thinking about doing a little something different, separate for, for us. And for those of you that are on that type of path or want to know more about that. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope something helped you guys out. I will see y'all in the next reading. All right. Bye, my loves.